सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ और कुछ जी दे एंड टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट शॉटिंग टेक्निक और एल्गोरिदम दैट इज बबल शॉट विच इज यूज इन लार्ज नंबर ऑफ केसेस एंड वी ऑफन यूज टू मग अप द कोड बट कंप्यूटर साइंस इज नॉट द थिंग वी हैव टू बिल्ड द लॉजिक दिस शॉटिंग टेक्निक्स एंड स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल्स आर यूज टू इन कल्टिवेट द लॉजिक इन अस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस बाई टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल इन एवरी शॉर्ट ऑफ टेक्निक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस वी शुड रिमेंबर द एल्गोरिदम एंड नॉट द कोड बाई रिमेंबरिंग द एल्गोरिदम वी शुड गेट टू द कोड एंड नॉट फ्रॉम द कोड टू द एल्गोरिदम सो फर्स्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द एल्गोरिदम एंड देन वी विल बी getting a pseudo code so in bubble shot we used to perform a certain number of iterations or passes and in each pass we used to uh, compare two adjacent elements uh, if they are in correct order we will not swap them and if they are not in the correct order we will swap them to make them in the correct order so that we get a shorted array or something else so uh at first uh, the statements will be difficult to understand uh, but i will try to explain uh be in the video and at last uh you get to know that uh you will not have to mug up the code uh and by knowing the algorithm you can derive the code easily so to explain the algorithm i will take a easy example so i will take an array 5 7 4 3 1 so i am taking this array and as we know in array data type we have zero best indexing so the index starts from 0 1 2 3 4 in this array we will have in denotes the number of elements in the array i am taking for example so in this example we are taking five elements array to short so for uh, easy understanding i am writing the array as as like this i am representing the same array as like this so that uh, i can write it fast and easily it will be convenient for me to write it in this way so at first we will pass the array to the function to get it short and the first iteration of the i loop let uh, not get into that for the first iteration we will take we will compare these two elements and after comparing uh, we are if nothing is told then uh, we should always short the array in ascending order that is from smaller ones to larger ones so we are shorting this uh, uh, array in ascending order so as 5 is lesser than 7 the order is correct so no swap is required in the next traversal in the next comparison we'll taking these two elements as 7 is greater than 4 we will swap them so we get this array and now we will compare these two elements as 7 is greater than 3 we will again swap them 5 4 3 7 1 1 again by comparing this the last two elements as 7 is greater than 1 we will again swap them so get 5 4 3 1 7 one. so here we can observe that the last element that is 7 here for example 
gets into its correct position. In bubble shot, uh, the last element gets bubble out. Bubble out means it gets in the correct position. After the first iteration, uh, 7 goes in the correct position, last element. In the second iteration, the second last element will go in the correct position. Third iteration, third last element. So, in this way, uh, the largest element will get bubble out. And that's why this shorting technique is called bubble shot. So, in the second iteration, we will have this side. 3, 1, 7. And if we will compare these two as 5 is greater than 4, so we will obviously swap them. 4, 5, 3, 1, 7. As, and again as uh, 5 is greater than 3, we will swap them. 5, 1, 7. And we will compare 5 and 1. 5 is greater than 1, so again. Swapping is required uh, and now I will not compare 5 and 7. Why? Because uh, if, if I will compare 5 and 7, 7 is already in its correct position. So no required to, uh, to again compare and uh, waste that, uh, make the time complexity difficult for this Pro, uh, shorting technique so it's no need to compare for the last element and uh, in this iteration the second last element comes to the correct position so in third iteration i will get this array and if i will compare them again swapping is required if i will compare them again swapping is required now I'll never compare these two because five is, uh, five is already in its correct position after the second addition. So no need to compare four and five again. So for the, I think it's not visible. Now it's visible. I think fourth iteration. I will get three one four five seven. I will compare three and one. So. Swapping is required. 4, 5, 7. Now 3 is already in its correct position. So no, uh, no more comparison is required. And as 3 is in its correct position, only one left at the left side. So the whole array is now sorted. So by observing this example, which I have taken here, we can easily derive the code. The pseudo code for this one. Uh, I will use uh, pseudo code. I will, uh, although it's pseudo code, I will use some syntax of Java as I'm more comfortable in Java programming language. So, suppose we can check here that we okay so i'm taking this copy so keeping them side by side will be a great help so for the pseudo code see for the first iteration for the first time 5 and 7 gets compared so here one iteration is going on and inside them another one is going on so by observing this i can say i have to use two loops i have to use two loops okay i have taken two loops mm -hmm. as the number of iterations is fixed here so i am going to take the help of for loop for I am uh, taking the variable i for the outer loop i is equals to acha then this uh, i is equals to okay I am leaving it blank the condition also I am doing i plus plus 
and for J loop living in blank with the condition also blank J plus plus so suppose uh, the first of all 5 and 7 will be compared so J loop should start from 0 for the first time uh, we can observe that the J loop starts from 0 for every time 5 and 7 gets compared 5 and 4 gets compared here 4 and 3 gets compared so J loop starts from 0 and J loop goes till ok I will check it later from where the I loop starts suppose the I loop starts from 0 uh, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 suppose n is the number of elements in the array for 5 elements how many iterations are required 1, 2, 3, 4 4 iterations are required so for 5 elements 4 iterations are required 5 minus 1 equals to 4 it starts from 0 to, so here it should be 3 uh, I loop will traverse for 0 1 2 3 so for writing 3 I need to write 5 minus 2 that is 3 so rather than equals to n minus 2 I can also write the condition as I is lesser than n minus 1 this is the same thing so for the jth condition, for the first iteration, the j loops, uh, we uh, are going to compare two adjacent elements. So, if we are going to compare two adjacent elements, we should suppose the array name is a, a of j, and a of j plus 1. As we are ascending, uh, shorting in ascending order, that's why if array of j is uh, greater than array of j plus 1, then swap array of j and array of j plus 1. Then we need to swap them. So, this is the loop. This is the if block. Uh, For uh, what will be the condition of the jail? Checking the condition of the jail for the first time, for the first iteration of the ith loop, we are going up till the last element that is j plus 1. For the above example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are going to go up till 3. Uh, we can make a table as we used to in pattern programs to check the condition for i is equals this is the i value this is the j value this is the condition okay i is equals to 0 j goes from 0 to how many times j should go from uh, 1 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 times, 0 to 3, 4 times means 0 to 3, Z 0, 1, 2, 3, ok, so, as equals to 1, j loop should go from 0 to 2, for the uh, second iteration, 0, first 1, 2, 3, three times so 0 1 2 so j loops runs three times second iteration j loops goes from 0 to 1 so this is the pattern the condition should be 0 to n minus 1 minus i uh, if we will check 5 minus n minus 2 minus i should be the condition so by observing these values we can easily derive the condition uh, most of the students used to 
रिमेम्बर द कंडीशन आई थिंक वी शूडेंट रिमेम्बर एनी थिंग एक्सेप्ट द लॉजिक इन प्रोग्रामिंग सो जीरो टू एन माइनस टू माइनस आई एन माइनस टू माइनस आई ओके स्वैपिंग इज रिक्वाड स्वैपिंग विल बी डन ओके सो नाउ इफ लेस देन हेयर शुड बी जे लेस देन इक्वल्स टू एन माइनस टू माइनस आई इफ यू नॉट यूज इक्वल टू ओके इफ यू विल नॉट यूज इक्वल टू जे शुड बी लेस देन एन माइनस वन माइनस आई दिस कंडीशन वी दे आर द सेम सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू ड्राई रन द एब स्नी पेट फॉर थ्री वन फॉर आई जुकल्स टू जीरो आई जुकल्स टू जीरो आई गोज फ्रॉम आई जुकल्स टू जीरो जे गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव माइनस टू माइनस आई थ्री जीरो टू थ्री फॉर जीरो वी आर कंपेरिंग दिस टू फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन सेवन नो सो नो स्वैप पिंग इज रिक्वाइड फाइव सेवन फोर थ्री वन जे प्लस प्लस जे इज इक्वल्स टू देन इक्वल टू जे इज इक्वल्स टू वन फाइव सेवन फोर थ्री वन दिस टू विल बी कंपेर्ड ए ऑफ जे एंड ए ऑफ जे प्लस वन एज ए ऑफ जे इज ग्रेटर देन ए ऑफ जे प्लस वन स्वैपिंग इज रिक्वाइड फोर जे फॉर आई इज इक्वल जे इज इक्वल्स टू दिस टू विल बी कंपेर्ड सो एज ए ऑफ जे इज ग्रेटर देन ए ऑफ जे प्लस वन सो एगेन स्वैपिंग इज रिक्वाइड फॉर जे इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री दिस टू विल बी कंपेर्ड एंड एज द कंडीशन इज टू एगेन स्वैपिंग इज रिक्वाइड सो बाय दिस वे द फर्स्ट एट्रेशन ऑफ द आई लुक इज ओवर एंड we got we got what we got the largest element at its correct position the largest element gets bubble out and if we will check for i is equals to uh, all if we are uh, going to dry run any snippet check the corner cases the each cases will be if the each case is satisfied If the difficult cases satisfies, then the easy case cases will obviously satisfy the above symbol. So, I'll I'll be going to check for i is equals to. Here it is zero uh, to three, five minus two. So i is equals to three. If i is equals to three, say is equals to zero to. In minus two minus i, five minus two minus three, that is zero. J is equals to zero. For one time it will run. And we will get three one four five seven as the as the uh, above uh, array. So this goes to zero zero and one. This two will be compared, and as a of j is greater than as the condition is true, we will swap. So four five seven swapping is done. So All the elements are in correct position. We get a sorted array. So in this way, we can easily get the code for uh, the pseudo code or the code for um, bubble shot technique. Acha. If anyone is confused about the swapping code, uh, suppose I am making a swap function. Quite swap, so that anyone will not. I'm passing the array. I'm passing the array here, and I'm passing the indexes to swap. Okay, swap ing. So we can swap by different techniques. Uh, we can swap by plus minus. There. Are Under many different techniques to swap, but the easiest way is to use a temp variable. So we will store. Suppose we are going to swap four and six zero two 
this two so we are going to make a temp box uh, that is empty now and store this element in the temp and then store i then we are going to here it is 6 already present so we are going to assign a of j to a of i so here will be 6 and a of uh, uh, j should be equals to temp temp already 4 is present so here will be. so we get the short uh, the swapped values and but swap as uh, array is passed by add uh, reference so we don't need to return so this is the simple code and if we will now talk about the time complexity city of the above program so if n is the number of elements passed first we will talk about the worst case time complexity uh, if nothing is asked in the examination we will always have to answer if nothing worst uh, as it is worst case average case or best case is nothing is properly stated then we will have to answer the worst case time complexity uh, it is denoted by big o of the value so we will get to that as the code states that we can see the i loop uh, passes for 0 to 3 uh, for calculating the time complexity the best way is used to consider n as a very big value so if you will consider n as thousand thousand minus two so zero to thousand minus two so you can see that i loop is going to run for more or less about n times so n minus two means n times i loop runs for sorry i loop runs for n times more or less and if you will check for the jth loop for the jth loop the jth loop runs for mm, sorry the jth loop runs for more or less about n minus 2 minus i so for the first time the j loop will run from 0 to suppose n is equals to 100 100 minus 98 for the second time will run about 97 0 to 90 so it is also more or less running about n times we are talking about the worst case time complexity so n uh, n times and j loop as they are inters uh, intersecting as i uh, jth loop is inside i loop for every time i uh, i loop runs once the jth loop will run n times so time complexity will be n into n that is n square n square is the time complexity as and as we are not using any extra space here so we can say that it is an in place algorithm in place algorithm so and we can also use a flag variable we can also use a flag variable just uh, to check that for uh, reducing the best case time complexity we, we are using a flag variable the flag variable checks that if or not for the previous iteration in the jth loop any swap has occurred or not if any swap has occurred then it is possible 
it is likely that for the next iteration again swapping is required and if none of the swap has occurred in the previous iteration of the jth loop then we are sure that uh, the array has already we have got already a sorted array and no needs for further uh, further calculation and we are going to place an if checking condition and return if none of the swap has occurred in the previous iteration of the J. So now what is a stable and unstable sorting algorithm? If okay, I will discuss in at a later video. So its worst case time complexity complexity is big of worst case time complexity is big of n square. Average case is also in square base case is n due to the flag variable if you will not use the flag variable the average case goes to n square best case goes to n square so one more thing for okay it's visible for worst case we will use big o for average case we will use big theta and for best case we will use sigma so these are the notations here i have mistaken and used bigo in all the case and it is an in place algorithm as space complexity is big of one as we are not using any extra space so that's it this is the algorithm for bubble shot and i will suggest you just to remember the algorithm and take an example and derive the code whenever needed So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the video.